Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the All-Merciful, the Ever-Merciful, and the everlasting curse be on the Satan and his followers. Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure family. Our respected viewers, before getting started with this episode, allow me to start with one of the sayings of the Master of Martyrs, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, when he says, Allah the Almighty has initiated the concept of commanding the good and forbidding the evil as a compulsory duty for us, as he knows that if these two duties are well performed and established, then all other divine duties, whether difficult or easy, shall be well established as well. And this commandment and forbiddance shall invite people to Islam and secure the rights of the wronged people as well as arouse opposition against tyrants and transgressors. Our respected viewers, peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein, a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life, starting from his miraculous birthday, then talking about some of the stories and events happened to him during his life, and then mentioning some of the prophetic quotes said in his right, until we end up with his unmatchable martyrdom. My name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program. Our respected viewers, in the last episode we spoke about why Imam Hussein had to escape Medina heading towards Mecca due to the political pressures the Imam was put under. And we all also spoke about Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam paying pilgrimage to his grandfather, the Prophet of Islam. However, in today's episode we will continue talking about the same topic yet more elaborately. Our respected viewers, after paying pilgrimage to his grandfather's grave, Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam next visited the grave of his beloved mother, the mistress of the woman of all the worlds, Fatima al Zahra al Batul. He stood before her grave, reflecting upon her oppression, tears streaming down his blessed face. Al Imam al Hussein had witnessed her oppression, namely his mother, at the hands of the tyrants, hypocrites, and disbelievers of Medina. He had washed, namely Imam Hussein, as her inheritance was stolen, her husband's right was usurped, her house was attacked, her body crushed, and her unborn child murdered. Al Imam al Hussein had watched as she went out with her husband, Ali bin Abi Talib, house to house, trying to gather support from a nation that had turned its back upon his Prophet and the chosen family of Allah the Almighty. As Fatima al Zahra salam, had suffered, he had suffered for what normal human being could bear to see his mother go through such oppression while her station was even more exalted than that and her suffering even greater and even in death she had none that awaited her blessed son Hussein alayhi salam and the horrors and his family would face later on in their life our respected viewers thus the Persian Muhammad al Mujahidi composed the following Versus poetry about the Imam alayhi salam as he stood at the grave of his mother. He says the following It was a horrible dark night with dead silence surrounding it. Al Hussein bin Ali was there with tears flowing down from his eyes. His mother's sad sound of wailing filled up the whole place. It came loudly from her grave and wandered in all directions. Finally, our respected viewers, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam, visited the sacred grave of his brother, Al Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam, to pay his final respects before returning home. There, he composed his final will and testament to his brother, Muhammad bin Al Hanafiya. In it, he wrote, namely Imam Al Hussein, "My offspring against Yazid." In it, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam wrote the following. My uprising against Yazid is neither for the sake of creating fitna and corruption in the land, nor for amusement or to satisfy my own ego. Rather, it is for the sake of reforming the affairs of my grandfather's nation. After handing the well to his brother, he left Medina with his family filled with sorrow as well as a firm resolve. As he left, he recited the verse from the Holy Quran. Then he left it out of fear while he kept on the lookout. He said, My Lord, save me from the unjust people. Peace be upon you, O Master of Martyrs, when you were born and when you were martyred. 
and when you will be resurrected. Our respected viewers, this is the end of today's episode. Let's pray that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time to interpret the message of his grandfather when he says, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.